A lot of people ask me about uh, learning the tables or the multiplication facts, so I'd just like to uh, show you multi-spin. As the name implies, it's about multiplication. But if you're in a class, not every child has to learn exactly the same multiplication table. So once you learn how to play one game of multi-spin, you can play the rest. So this one's called multi-spin two. So you spin the spinner and it come up at seven. So you'd say two sevens are 14. Now you can choose which 14, because there's more than one on the board and you would put your counter on there. So I normally have two different color counters for two different players. Imagine I spin again and maybe I spun a two, so two twos are four, so that player would put their counter on four. And it's really just a basic bingo type game. If you get three of your counters in a row, a column or a diagonal, you're a winner. Imagine this game's been going for a while and uh, these players have got some bits on there and so forth. A rule that I really quite like uh, playing with is called the bump off rule and, and so that might be that if someone else uh, say the red player spins a seven so you spin the seven two sevens are 14 you can actually take the yellow players counter off and replace it with yours so consider the bump off rule as an example of how you might reinvigorate the game well, once you can play multi-spin two it's pretty easy to play multi-spin five because all I'm doing is multiplying the spinner number by five and placing on there. Now I have other versions of multi-spin, there's multi-spin nine. So if someone needs to practice their nine times table, it's just spin, multiply by nine, put the counter on there. So you can have a range of children playing the same game in the class. Some are playing multi-spin two, some multi-spin five, maybe others. And just for your benefit, we've put a computer version of multi-spin two and multi-spin five up on the web. You can just have a play of it.